Hey everyone, welcome back to another home DIY project. Today I'm sharing how you can make this upholstered headboard. I got all of the fabric from Joanne Fabrics and I got the lumber from Home Depot. There's a lot of different ways you can customize this headboard. You can change out the fabric to fit any accent colors that you have in your room or you can keep it nice and neutral to match any space. You can also customize the trim along the edges. You can stain it or paint it to match any um, wood accents that you have in your room. So it's a super fun and easy customizable project. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and stay tuned for more projects to come. Here are the tools and materials you'll need to make the headboard. This is the lumber that I used. I got everything from Home Depot and I had them cut all of the long pieces so I could fit it into my SUV. Step 1. Cut materials. The cut list that I provide is for a king-sized headboard. Step 2. Assemble frame. Drill pocket holes in each of the 45 inch short frame pieces. You should drill two pocket holes in each end of the 2x2 boards. If you're using a Craig jig, set it to 1.5 inch depth. After you drill the pocket holes, lay out the three short frame pieces in the middle and the 77 inch frame pieces on the top and bottom. Screw these pieces together using two and a half inch screws and wood glue. Step 3. Attach plywood. Attach the 48 by 77 inch plywood to your frame using 1 inch screws. Step 4. Secure 1 inch foam. I decided to use a mattress pad instead of upholstery foam because it's a lot cheaper and it works just as well. Cut the foam using scissors so that it fits on the 48 by 77 inch plywood and use spray adhesive to secure the foam to the wood. Step 5. Staple Batting I moved into my living room for the following steps so I had a nice clean work area. Lay out the batting so it's nice and flat on the ground. Cut each of the corners like this picture. Fold the batting over and staple to the 2x2 frame, making sure that it's nice and tight.
Step 6. Staple fabric. Just like the batting, lay out the fabric so it's nice and flat on the ground and make sure there are no wrinkles. Staple the fabric onto the headboard starting on one side and then moving over to the direct opposite side. Be sure to pull the fabric as tight as you can and staple every few inches. Cut the corners like this picture. Step 7. Cut and stain trim. I cut my 1 inch by 3 inch boards down to 1 inch by 2 and a half inches with a table saw so that it would fit the depth of my headboard better. Measure your headboard with the fabric on it to determine the length of your trim. I decided to do 45 degree corners but you could also do straight corners to make it a bit easier. After dry fitting the trim to make sure it will fit together perfectly, Sand your trim and prep it for staining. I used a natural stain for the trim as well as a satin polyurethane. Step 8. Attach trim. Once your trim pieces are dry, attach the trim pieces to your headboard using a nailer and 1.5 inch brad nails. If needed, you can fill the nail holes with wood filler. Step 9. Hang headboard. We picked up a few heavy duty picture frame hangers to attach the headboard to the wall. Measure on your wall where you want the headboard to be and hang it up. Follow the instructions on the picture frame hangers. 